We spend most of our day using language, opening and closing conversations, apologizing, complimenting, and even swearing. In the normal transfer of information through language, we send vital social messages about who we are, where we come from, and more. The linguistic choices we make involve cultural values and norms of politeness. But oftentimes, we don't think about the social order guiding these linguistic performances. Our job in sociolinguistics is to put language under a microscope and highlight its social meaning and impact. Think for a moment about how you close conversations. In general, closing is face-threatening because it carries the implication that the company of the other person is not desirable. So, conversation closing requires us to mitigate face and minimize imposition. A very common strategy to close includes issuing a future arrangement. This implies that the end of the current conversation does not mean the end of the relationship itself. The blame strategy, on the other hand, ascribes the need to close to the other person. For example, people say, I will let you get back to work. This suggests that the other person is actually responsible for the need to terminate the conversation. Knowledge of linguistics can be crucial in other parts of our lives as well. For example, in the technology world, the barriers to creating software which can converse as engagingly as humans are not only technical, but also linguistic. I hope that you will see that linguistics is, is crucial to every part of our lives. Thank you.